You ready? Mm -hmm. I'd like to call the meeting to order if we'd all stand for the word of prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil, for thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. Amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Mr. Hum? Present. Mr. Miner? Here. Mr. Garland? Here. Fellows, have you had an opportunity to review the minutes of February 19th, 2015? I have, sir. I make a motion that we approve the minutes as presented. Is there a second? Second. We got to get you back in the room. <laughs> <laughs> so stand approved as presented. What was the date on this? February the 19th, 2015. Okay. Pat, what do you have for us? Oh, just just a few things. Um, I did present you with some different things that, and I don't think I have to review that. But is there any questions on any of it that I gave you? Did it, the reports that come in, the fire department calls from. All of 2014 amounted to 44,583.25. Um, I gave you um, an amended listing again of zoning commission and zoning board members, zoning board appeals members. Um, tentative on the minutes of February 19th. Other oh, grass, grassroots clippings for March of 2015. Um, gave Mel some paperwork on the chip and seal program for 2015. And tonight. I see if I can give it to you already. Um, Care Works Comp regarding Workers Comp third party administrator. Did I give you a copy of that? That's it doesn't need action yet, but and I'll tell you I didn't really digest it real well, but looks like they you know, we've always had Care Works for a long time. Seems like they brought another company. Yeah, that's what it appears to be. But this is the only correspondence I've had regarding that. Um, so I gave you a copy of that. Um, time to be thinking about the cemetery contracts. Every two years we do that. And um, I looked up last time and it went that one of the boys, Hayes boys, had called Carl and requested to be considered for having to do that again. Now, I haven't received anything. I don't know if any of <coughs> you guys have or not. But we passed a resolution at that time, the first week in April, to just continue it as it was. That's just information. I don't know if anybody wants to contact them, or do you want to bid it? Or? Well, you want to ask for quotes? Whoever's out there? Uh, you know, if, if, if you look at how we've utilized this company for quite a They've done years. it well. Uh, I think that they've done a good job now from what I've seen and, you know, here in the cemeteries. Uh, you know, it's been a while since we went with quotes. I, I think the company we have now does a pretty good job. Yeah. If they don't increase the price, would you consider it? Or is that what you... Well, I'm just thinking about fairness here. Right. Opening it up and go from there. Mm -hmm. I mean, I have no complaints. This fellow has been excellent. He's done a fine job and everything else, but mm -hmm. I, I just thought it would be fair if we'd open it up. And um, I didn't print off um, when, we, when he, we bid it before. I, I can go back and print that, but... Um, <coughs> yeah, this guy's been doing it for four years now. Yeah. 
So it would have been four years ago that we actually bid it. Right. 2011. So I can go back and look at that if that's what you'd like to do. Well, I just think it's time to alter it up. We don't have language. Complaints. I didn't print the language for yeah. that. that. And we don't have any complaints with him, but I think just to be fair to everyone, we had to open it up and see what happens. Do you want to do that without the knowledge of what what we wrote the last time on the ad, or do you want to? Yeah, I think the sooner we get it in the paper, the better. You want to review it pretty much? If I have any questions about it, do you want me to contact you? I don't. I'll go back and review what we did four years ago. Mm -hmm. It's nice that we're talking about mowing. Yeah. Well, I just... These things come around pretty quick. And removing winter decorations. <laughs> They're probably blown away by now. <laughs> Three. <laughs> Two for advertising. Of contracts for mowing cemeteries. And there's six of those. Okay, so well, there are six cemeteries and what the house next door? The house this place. and the ballpark. And the ballpark. And the park, yeah. And the park down in Middleton. There's all. Right. right. There's That's a lot nine. Of there is. Right. And I didn't look to see what it cost. And I'm, and I'm not sure. I can tell you what they cost us last year for cemetery. I have that in the, the motion. I mean, this guy's been really inexpensive. I don't. I don't know if anybody's going to be able to do it. Especially cheap. if he renews it as it, yeah. as it is, you know. Um, okay, did someone want to make that motion, please? I'll move it. Second. If they have any questions, have them get a hold of them now. They want to know, you know, what to mow and that. That's why you're the supervisor. That's right. You're in charge. <laughs> Okay. Mr. Hum? Yes. Mr. Miner? Yes. Mr. Garwood? Yes. Resolution number 2015, number 19. Okay. Um, I did uh, send a bill to Columbia County Engineer for the salt that we... Not loaned them, but... They're buying. Sold? They've sold it, yeah. Um, and we did receive a check from Comcast for 2014 for $27,986. And I would like what you to... What was that talking about? $27,986. It was up just a little bit from the year before. Not all of that. Where do we normally put that? It goes in the general. General. But do we have a line item? Like I post it into a line item, but I don't carry it forward to expenses. Where did that money come from, Pat? Comcast. Those okay. those folks that do have cable in our township. I mean, that cable. We don't even get that over home, over there, so it's over at my house. So it would be this. Me. And do you get it? Yeah. Okay, um, the other thing is that I, and I didn't call today to get a quote on it, but uh, I need to order a toner for my printer, and you usually pass a resolution for me to do that because they need that before they'll ship it out of Texas. I have to send them, I have to send them a purchase order, okay. and I kind of do one. All right. <laughs> need a PO 2015-20 to purchase from Dell state contract um, two toner cartridges for printer. I had a, thought I had an extra one left, but I don't. Does I'll someone move that motion, Pat. Thank you. Sir. Mm -hmm. Resolution 2015 and 20. PO numbers. PO numbers. And I believe there's more info. If you want to look at this Comcast thing, you can. It's a breakdown of all the. I didn't copy it for you, but it's a breakdown of that. I believe that's all I need.
membership and seal on the meeting? Oh. That's okay. Or, I think they mailed one of these to everybody. I would Did you guys see the copy? I don't think I brought that with me, my copy. But okay. Yeah, I passed it out. Okay. You want to do that now? Well, you're going to fill it in, right? Yeah. I just want to make sure everybody's aware it's March 24th at 10 a.m. Right. So our next meeting is the 19th. So can we do it then? Oh well, yeah. Okay. The 19th of March is the chip and seal and um, taping, uh, chip and seal on the road reclaimer, right? The 24th. The 19th. Is the last evening. Okay. Gotcha. You can seal in the uh, the paving or reclaimer. Yeah. I knew there was a word in there. Yeah. Reclaimer meeting at the county. What time is that? Ten a.m. Yeah. On the twenty-fourth. Right. No correcting me here. Yeah. You don't need that in a motion. You just want that as a reminder. Or you want yeah, because, I mean, I can be there. I already checked on the schedule. That should be good. Do you want an informal resolution? No. Okay. Just, I just wanted to make sure everybody was aware of it. Okay, so Bob can. and Barry will attend. And Carl. Yeah, Carl. Yeah, because you've got more of the two. Yes. Do we have a basic time or a mileage? It's, well, we don't have the mileage yet. But uh, our appointment is March 24th at 10 a.m. Yeah. So at the next meeting, now we'll have yeah. a list of roads. What we're going to do as far as reclaiming. And, he, just, uh, he just didn't have anything to do. Yeah, right. He just bounced around in the truck. truck. I thought this would be like Don. <laughs> <laughs> Guess what? Between snowflakes and ball bags, that's a little busy. That meeting is when? Be the 24th at 10 a.m. But y'all have that list too. Down at the engineer's office. I mean, I have a pretty good idea. This is creating more. Right. I'm, I'm done. Okay. Mel! Well, I don't have too much other than. Since the last meeting, it's been more of the same, cold and snowy. <laughs> uh, so I two more weekend storms that you know kept us pretty busy. One on Saturday and one on Sunday there. But long storms, you know, 10 and 12 hour ones. Right. Just not like a snow overnight and you go out and you're done. It's kind of been some hard ones to fight with. It. You know, they start out warm and then temperatures drop off, some tough and melts. They've gotten easier years. So they've gotten more daylight hours, a little easier to melt. Uh, so we haven't been busy doing that. Uh, actually, been out with the not recently, but like last week a lot, pushing drifts back with the Case 521 loader to try to minimize drifting and open up some of the ditchways with the rain coming and stuff. Uh, also, during that time, we was able to complete uh, the ball bank studies on the curves throughout the township. It came to about 30 studies. It was about Barry and I were talking about that. Oh, we're pretty, we're pretty straight. And then when you start going looking for these curves, you're more out there than you think. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's, but I did get all that compiled, and I completed a list of sign, the types of signage we would need for those curves that we did the studies on, based on the uh, O M U T A C D. Um, so Barry and I are going to get together to finish putting that together as far as the actual list of signs that we want to submit to order. Um, when him and I can get together on that. How's it submitted? Online. Online? Online? Yeah. All right. Yeah, yeah so we have it. Basically, it just, once the order ran, it gives it a dollar amount at the bottom to submit. Okay, because the 15th still the date, isn't it, today? Yeah. Which is Sunday. I think our goal is to probably to have it wrapped up before midweek. You know, we haven't talked about it, but, you know, it's right now. 
how we have our inventory, current inventory, and then we have the existing need for additional signage. I'm sorry, back up once. What did you say first? We have Invent current inventory down of our system. Mm -hmm. And then we have, we determine the need for the additional signage that we're going to have. Mm -hmm. We'll place the order, and then we'll put them up. And it depends whether it's going to be allocated in the 2015 year or 16. That's what we won't know until after submission. Well, hopefully the short notice will be to our benefit. I would think. I would think yeah. this. Because it's kind of everybody's been busy going yeah. the same stuff as we have. We know I don't want to get it done. So. Yeah, and I appreciate very the help on that. There's no way I would have to do it with the weather and everything to get that all done without you. So, like you said, I think him and I get together one day, we'll be able to finish hammering it out. And then we already talked about the chip and seal. I'll, like I said, I'll have that road list compiled for next meeting. And the only other thing I have, uh, I'd like to request a PO uh, for cold mix at Tri-County Asphalt mm -hmm. in the amount of uh, 2000 As the roads start to fall out, we're already starting to see a little bit of pop. They're not too bad yet, but frost hasn't come out yet. So. We'll go in town. I took some side roads in the Boardman over the weekend. Oh. That was a mistake getting off the main path. <laughs> I will take our 48 mile. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Damn, Mahoney County really got nailed. I, I got the day for someone else. There was just no way. You had to drive through them. There's no way to go around them. Mm -hmm. Mills requesting a $2,000 purchase order be issued to Tri County Asphalt for cold mix. Someone make that a motion, please. I'll move it. Second. Mr. Hum? Yes. Mr. Miner? Yes. Mr. Garwood? Yes. you, Pat, did you get a bill from Bill Chef from the 2006? I did, and I wrote a check tonight, but I I don't know whether I misplaced it, the, the large bill. Did you, did you think about that? I didn't have one. I picked the truck up on okay. Saturday. I'm not going to issue that check then. I, I, I mean, to mail it. I issued it because I thought maybe you had a cop. I don't. Yes, we do count All I have was a work order from picking it up because it was a actually on Saturday. Okay, Sunday, so let me tell you how much it was. 9242. Do you have a copy of no, the bill? No, no. You sent, sent me an invoice. Or not an invoice, but a, a billing. Total 177804. But I won't release this until you get something to give me because I have, I wrote it thinking you had it already. Okay, so I won't I won't mail this check. I won't. I'll get in touch with them tomorrow and get a copy of the bill. So I, if, I, if, I, if, if you get a copy of one of these, yeah, that's fine as long as it's what I the quote I just quoted to you. Seventeen. Uh, let's see here. Eighteen. No, no, that's the total bill. We want that. Okay. Seventeen seventy eight oh four. Okay. All right. I'll check into that. Um, I won't read his that until he gives a copy of what he needs. Okay. Okay. Anything else, Mel? No, that's it. Kim. Hi. The internet's back. Thanks, Mel. When he's not making the road safe, he's apparently our IT guy. He just, I mean, all, he just comes in and looks at it sternly and is like, oh, I'm back. Start work. That's <laughs> it. He's like, I don't have any He scares it. <laughs> he scared it. So you have my written report. Um, nothing too exciting. Uh, other than that, just tell him again when he's not busy doing all that other stuff. The office always looks great. Had some people in that just wanted to look at a map. It's just nice to be able to sit at a table, spread it out, make our residents feel comfortable. I just really do appreciate that. I know on top of everything else you guys do. You're a great decorator and you keep the place real clean. 
That's I appreciate that. Pass that along. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. I mean, I don't know if you guys realize, but it, they, they just do so much more than people realize they do. So, really appreciate that. And other than that, um, again, back to Rose. I sent you an email. Lady had a question, but I thought it was a good one. She actually messaged me privately because she knows me, so she sent it to my Facebook, but I sent it to you. Her question was about, um, she said the township does a great job, and then her neighbors, when they're clearing out their driveway, she said literally, like, your plow goes by, then my neighbor pushes all his driveway snow out into the roadway. What is the rule about that? Because then another neighbor was complaining, oh, the township doesn't, and she's like, no, 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 no. <laughs> they just went by, and I thought, that's a really good question. How do you handle that? I just told her I'd, I'd ask and get back to her. I don't know. That sounded like it was out front. No. To me, it's not like it was out bad. Oh, okay. Are you ready? The moon exploded. Isn't gorgeous out there? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You're not supposed to do that. <laughs> well, I know. And I, the reason, I mean, he'll, he'll answer my email when he can, but I actually thought it was a good question to ask publicly in case it's favorite. Because people don't realize that I think, I don't think they're doing it to be malicious. I think they just want the snow out of their driveway. So they mm -hmm. plow it into the road. And you're like, wait, you can't do that. Well, they plow it over right back if they should. Right, I'm like. <laughs> it's a, it it's a battle. It's a battle, I guess. But I, I do, again, appreciate residents that she was quick to defend. Well, their the trucks are bigger than my snow <laughs> Yeah. yeah. She said, they just went by. Probably isn't an issue until we all have, you know, five feet of snow in our roadway. You do, like, we do. We just don't plow it. We just drive on it, actually. <laughs> so that's all I have. It's very quiet and it's peaceful and just information calls and happiness. So. Carl, welcome back. Thank you, sir. And I appreciate... The, the trip to California, I mean, it was, it was just great. We went out there and spent six weeks with my daughter. It's a nurse practitioner. And the temperatures were 70, 75 average, I would say. Mm -hmm. Something like that, you know. It was it was just it was just unbelievable. And what I have to report is that a lady called Joanne and talked to her about some sort of an accident, a little accident or something, and and, and I guess she went, he he wanted to talk to me, but he, my wife answered the phone. And, and what he told her was the end result was that he lived right down the road from us and he told her what a magnificent job our township employees did. Really, you know, he said he was from another county and lived there his whole life and another township and the suburb township, I think. And he, he was just just overwhelmed with the job these guys did. So I thought I'd pass that on to him. Can I add something to that? Yes. And a lot of that is thanks to our residents who do vote and support the levies that we put out there. If we didn't have the money to do that and pay these good guys for well for what they do it might we might not be so fortunate but it's great that the, the, the our community supports our levies and that's wonderful it you know, enables us to have more exactly trucks road yes that's yeah. right that's right four trucks four guys and you yep. can divide the township up yep it's actually the, the, the mileage per truck is less than what it happens really it's what please Is that right? Average of that was about 30 miles. So if you take our 4 and 48, yeah. that's the level of service we provide. Mm -hmm. Anyway, 
that I, I thought I would run that past you folks. Yeah, that was just to help fill into that story. Joanne called me last night about 10.30. What had happened was a moving van went down Lower Elkton, and whether they forgot to pull the door down or didn't latch the door, it came open, and the stuff that they were moving started falling out the back. <laughs> and you know, it's for them, not the trail down Lower Elkton. <laughs> Oh, man. I feel bad for the people that lost their stuff. <laughs> oh, that's what happened. So it was like a big mirror that hit the road and broke and stuff. So it was, it was kind of a mess. But they cleaned most of it up. They didn't. So I, I mean, I saw them when I went down there to check it out after Joe had called me. So it was just a little bit of stuff. I went back this morning and finished cleaning up. So, wow. Thank you. Barry. No, really. We've just been working on that sign with Mel and I. We should have that roughed up next week. Uh, I went out. Did you hear much of when the rig came into Woodville? No? Did you have any issues? Anybody call when they had the rig moved? No. No, no. no phone calls on it whatsoever. Good. I had. Uh, I was out there just I by chance seeing the rig coming off the four lane side. Paul. Got ahead of them and went down the watch. So they tur tried to turn left, so I talked to Hillcorp and they reassured us and they sent it back out. And that's why I wondered if uh, they weren't able to get in on the left side, so they had to go back out and run them out. It was just by chance that I'd seen it. So yeah. I was just curious. But very responsive, so we'll just keep them out of sight. Hopefully, there's no issues out there. Um, other than that, that's all I have. I did see they stuck up some signs uh, in East Fairfield and in that direction. I don't know how long we'll let them up. Yeah, because they're on the state right away. Mm -hmm. Speaking of which, Barry, them, them township signs and limit, township limit signs and zoning signs, I think you orchestrated having them erected. Mm -hmm. Who's to maintain them now that they're locked? They're theirs. Okay. Except our signs. Since they're out on the state system, they're theirs. Uh, how we tag it will be ours, but the sign itself will be ours. Because okay. one of them got hit in a wreck yesterday, and it's down. So okay. I'll, be, I'll report it to them. Yeah. I was curious if it's a nice one. Okay. Monday night, I went to the. Uh, Advisory Council meeting for Columbia County Health Department, and I have a call. I have to give that to Barry. Did they have a quorum? Yeah, I was surprised. Uh, everybody was out. It was kind of a full crowd down there. And it, it, we're just fortunate to have the health department that we have in Columbia County. We really are. It's a good bunch of people down there. And it was, I don't know, it was probably less than an hour of the actual meeting, and they were handing out uh, these emergency signs also for people to use in their house dealing with um, disasters, wildfires, they've got nuclear attacks. Tornadoes, thunderstorms, flood warnings, earthquake, winter weather, hazardous material spills. So what I was going to do, Kim, is I picked up a stack of these and just put them next door. Yeah, with them that. On the counter and yeah but they're pretty neat. Uh, the red for help on the one side, and then okay on the other side. Here, this is yours. You were glaring at me. <laughs> <laughs> I was not. So these I'll just put over there. Yeah, that'd be great. With that. So we we're just fortunate. It's a nice group down there with that. And everything's going well. So it was nice to hear good things are happening in the township and in the county. And that's all I have. Um, Oh, the uh, last time we talked about that uh, oil and gas lease that was presented. Mm -hmm. Well, 
we were going to wait for you to come back, Carl. And uh, I don't know if you've had a chance to review it, but um, I didn't get real excited about it. Barry, are you excited about it? It's a quarter of an acre. You know, not not as the dollars that you know they represent. Yeah. Um, um, you know, I support at least with DPS at fifteen hundred and eighteen percent where Hillcorp is at. It's a long ways from the fifty-eight hundred that was on the table. Yeah. Uh, I'm just not excited about it, so I guess we'll just let it sit. But no action, right? Folks, no action on that. And that's all I have. Hopefully, maybe we'll have a fire contract at the next meeting. Columbia. They're still going to stick with a one year? I, I didn't talk about the year off, so I, okay. I can imagine that they are. Yeah, okay, we had a fire in Township recently, and I'm sure we had one in Columbia. Was there a fire in Waterford? Was out there now? I think Waterford, Columbia. I, I think even the like Tony Hunter. Too. So, you know, thanks to those guys going out and handling that issue in the township. We're very fortunate we don't have a lot of fires in the township. But yeah. when we do have Where, a, where was that? It was it's out right. of Spray Out Fairfield School Road, probably 4558, and then back in the lane. Yeah. Saw that okay. Across from one of the lines. There's a double line there, much of them. Is that what got fire? Mm -hmm. I don't know the details of why and anything like that, but that's what it was. And that was a bad accident, too, down on uh, Bunker Hill? In was 558? Yes, you see that thing? Mm -hmm. That could have been treacherous. Yeah. Marianne, since you I'll find out my blazed the storm, you're here. Yeah. <laughs> All good. Nice job on the road, Mel, as Thank always. You. Oh, yeah. that's great. Bob Hall. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Is there a oh, oh, present. <laughs> present. I go on your website and follow your minutes, so I thought I'd come see me. Really? That's you? I read the minutes. I get them out there, and I think, I wonder if anyone but me reads these. You just made my day. Thank you. <laughs> They are? Oh, I better go out and market by the. You said they're in sideways. Yeah, you have to rotate. Oh, I'm sorry. I'll have to check my settings. I got a fan, we got a fancy new copier, and it might be a little smarter than me. Because <laughs> it looks good on mine, but it must flip. You're supposed so to just read a lane now, Mary. <laughs> we'll try to make it comfortable for you. So your nose. Oh, thank you. Because you didn't tell me till now that there was five. <laughs> <laughs> there are several to, that she'll put on. Do you have time to put them on then tonight? I do. The internet's back. I'm super excited. Um, and if you're sweet, I might even put them on the right side up. <laughs> there are, I think there's four. Wow, you've been on now. Yes, there's four of them to put on. Okay. We need to get Carl to sign them before we can. Oh, okay. They need time first. Well, they're no, all signed. Oh, yeah, he signed. Okay. They're all signed. They're all signed. So anything else? Pat, anything else? No. Motion to adjourn? So moved. Second.